an attention to Delta states where youths there are worried about the impact of illegal old bond coin in coastal communities of the states on the environment. They're also concerned about the life of young people who are lured into the supposedly lucrative business, abandoning their education. So this is a top agenda at the third plenary session of the Delta State Youth Parliament. Iken Namichi reports. 29 members of the Delta State Youth Parliament converged on Delta State House of Assembly to deliberate on matters that affect the people. Paramount to them is the impact of the illegal oil bunkery taking place in various communities, especially the riverine areas of the state. Those set of youths, they are even the secondary school students. Instead of for them to go to school, they now abandon uh, school and begin to go for local bunker. And they are making money through it. And, but they, 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 they are forgetting the fact of the danger, the, the, the dangerous part of it. The effect just not just beyond, it's not just about stealing uh, crude oil. It goes beyond that. I mean, the damage does to the environment in an era of uh, climate change. You know, the damage it does to the aquatic life causing hardship in those areas because you can no longer use uh, the water for domestic use. Neither can you even can even profit us uh, economically. You know, so the damages are really beyond just what people think it is or just what people do. Another issue of concern for them is the rate of drug abuse among youths, a development becoming almost a norm. They frown at it and want something deliberate to be done to reverse the ugly trend. The issue of this age is No matter what you tell them about drugs, they will not hear you, they will tell you they're enjoying their lives and all that. So we need to, we are feeling the state government to speak to the Commission of Information and other media houses to work on this sensitization, to let them understand the damages or the merits that come with taking of these drugs. We find out that youths abuse drugs a lot. They don't even want to hear that it is dangerous to their health. They are not even concerned about the um, dangerous aspect. The youth also want investigation into the killing of two persons in Uye by an unknown security agent attached to a high-profile personality, the inadequate number of qualified teachers in schools in rural areas, among other burning issues. The parliamentarians, however, commended Governor Okowa for heeding to some of their resolutions in the past, like the reopening of Ogume Secondary School. Ikenna Amechi, CVC News, Asaba.